Hello, hello, Emerson. How are you? I'm fine. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Excellent, excellent. Hello, Karen. How are you? Hi, thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Elvis. How are you? Very good. Thanks. You? Very good. Very good. Ready, ready. Hello, Bye. Cesar. How are you? <laughs> Cesar. You. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Areli. Good evening. No, How are you? Aleli. Aleli. Oh, Aleli. How are you? Welcome. Welcome. Hi, Thank you. Fatima. Good evening. How are you? Hi. Hi. Paragon Santiago. Santi se llama, Santi. Hi, guys. Hi, teacher. Hey, Santiago Chavez. How are you? Yeah, he's Fine. Good I'm great. Welcome. Uh, welcome. I'm happy to hear that. Hello, Morena. How are you? Hi, teacher and classmate. Fine. Thank you. And you? Very good. Very good. <laughs> are you ready for your English class? Yes, I'm ready. Yes, we're ready. All right. Ready. Let me have two volunteers two volunteers entiendo ah no sabes who who okay elvis volunteer number 1 another volunteer santiago volunteer number 2 very good Okay, Elvis, ask Santiago the questions from yesterday's class. Santiago, respond to the questions. And then vice versa, Santiago will ask the questions and Elvis is going to respond. Ready? Action. Thank you. Uh, the same question yesterday. The same questions from yesterday, correct. Okay. Okay, Santiago. Tell me, Elvis. What's your name? My name is Santiago Chavez. But how, how are but you? I'm great today. And you? How old are you? How old are you? Uh, I'm, I am 41 years old. 41. Okay. Yes. Uh, where do you live? I am live Quetzaltepec City. I am live uh, or I live in Quetzaltepec. I live. I live. I live. I live. Very in good. Quetzaltepec City. All right. Where do you work? Well. Where do you yeah. work? I work in. Integra Corporation. Okay. Where? What's your profession? Well, I'm supervisor there. <laughs> what? Repeat, please. I'm, I'm supervisor there. Oh, yeah. The boss. Uh, I, I, the boss. <laughs> Who's I, this? I, I listen, Survivor. <laughs> yeah, Survivor. <laughs> hey, okay. there's a saying. There's a saying in English. Yes. If you want to be the boss, you got to pay the cost. Si quieres ser el jefe, tiene que pagar el precio. Pagar el precio. That's right. That's right. So... It comes with the territory. <laughs> Yo superviso 10 co-callers y 5 acquisitions managers para bienes y raíces en los Estados Unidos. It's Who's this? A lot of work. A lot of work. Yeah, it's a Eso lot of work. Su contacto de, de, de oficina. Yeah. Voy a renunciar, voy a renunciar, teacher, y me da trabajo. 
<risa> eh, pues miren, les voy a compartir algo. Eh, yo me metí en esto de bienes y raíces por la pandemia. Pero lo que a mí me abrió las puertas fue el inglés. Yo no tuviera los contactos que tengo si no fuera por el inglés. Esta gente le he llamado la atención a ellos porque estoy en El Salvador y hablo como que si estoy en Texas. So, por ese simple hecho, las puertas se han abrido. So, para mí, si ustedes perfeccionan su inglés y ustedes me dicen, hey, teacher, quiero ser appointment setter, quiero ser cold caller, quiero ser acquisitions manager, ¿por qué no? You will be my boss. <laughs> yeah, I will be your boss. Yes. <laughs> okay, Santi. Buxo, buxo. Yeah. 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 Que Santi tiene la voz del locutor. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce my boss. Ya se lo he dicho, ya se lo he dicho, y no me hace caso. Ya se van a acordar de Fernando. <laughs> oh, Fernando. Okay. Let me see. Uh, Santiago. Hey, Rose. Okay. 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 Uh, Change the roles. Change the roles. Santiago ask the question. Elvis respond to the question. Elvis, what what is your last name? Uh, my last last name is Rauda. Very good. Rauda. Where do you live? Es Elvis. Palestino, uh, de Palestina. Rauda. Pues, puede ser. Sí, sí, yo tengo una Pero no tengo de... barba. Ah, ok, le falta, déjala crecer. Uh, no nos va a tirar la bomba. What is your profession? I am barber. Elvis presenta. The la best visión. barber in Chalatenango. Great. What do you do in your free time? I like watch movie and Terry. I like watch The Mentalist. Okay. Hey, that's an awesome series, The Mentalist. Oh, that's yeah. I like The <laughs> Mentalist. That's a that's a serious series. Yes. Okay, and the last one. Uh, what is your favorite restaurant? There is in Chalatenango a good restaurant. His Expensive. name is no cheaper. 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 Cheap. Yes, his name is is very funny. El Garrobito Feliz. Woo! El Garrobito <laughs> Feliz. Sounds like a delicious restaurant. Yes. Thank you, Elvis. Thank you. Okay, good job. Elvis, select another student and Santiago, select another student. Okay. okay. No, no. I want to see uh, that. Dale, Santiago, for you. Ahorita. Um, voy a elegir. Um, <laughs> Silvia, Silvia Menéndez. Silvia Menéndez. Okay, Hello. y que lo haga con Karen Suleima. Karen Suleima. All right, Silvia, ask the question. Karen, respond to the question. Okay. Where do you live, Karen? I live in Santa Ana. Okay. Um, where do you work? Um, I work in Credit Avance. It's a bank. Okay. What's your favorite kind of music? Um, I like it. Pop. Pop. Yeah. Um, do you have any children? Yes. I have a, 
I guess. What did your birthday? Uh, my birthday is April 7. Um, what's your favorite movie? And uh, my favorite movie is Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. What I do you do? I like Wonder Woman. Uh, for Gal Gadot. She <laughs> is <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> very, very. <laughs> what do you do in your free time? Um, I like watch. Netflix all day. Okay. Okay. Um, what do you do right now? She's gone. What happened to her? Se me perdió. Si fue a ver Netflix. Price. Oh, okay, maybe the <laughs> maybe the connection, maybe the connection. Um, okay, thank you, Silvia. Thank you, Karen. We're gonna stop right there. Let me have two more volunteers. Two more volunteers. Two more volunteers. No, 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 no. Only two. Only two. Not everybody. Please. No, no, no. Not everybody. Only two. All right. Let me have Erika Flores ask the question. Jaime Roberto respond to the question. And then we're going to have Aleli practice with Jonathan. So, primero vamos Erika con Jaime, después a Leli y Jonathan. Ready? Okay. Go. Okay, Jaime, where do you live? I live in Santísima Trinidad, Ayutuxtepeque. Okay. Uh, how old are you? I, I am 25 years old. Okay. Um, where do you work? I'm not working right now. But my last work was in architecture drawing. Okay. Um, what do you do in your free time? In my free time, I like to go out with my family and friends. I like to read books and listen to mu and listen to music. Okay. Um, how old are you, Jaime? I am 25 years old. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant. I I think I don't have a favorite restaurant. Okay. What's your favorite place? My favorite to go eat. The beach. To go eat. The mountains. The volcano. The, the lake. The, the, the beach. The city. I think the beach. The, Seafood. The beach. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, do you have any children? I, I don't have any children. Okay. Um, when is your birthday? Beer date? My birthday is on June 21. Okay. 21st. Um, 21st. 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 Okay. okay thank uh, you. What is what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie. Uh, uh, in that moment, I don't know how to say, but maybe Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shrek one. Okay. Uh, finish. I think finish. Okay. Uh, that's that's okay. Thank you. 
Okay, and now you, change Helen. roles. Jaime asked the question, Erica respond. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. oh, hello, what's your name? Uh, my name is Erica Antonio Flores. Nice to meet you, Erica. How nice old to meet are you? you? Jaime. Uh, I am 46 year old. 46, okay. And where do you live? I live in Cuscatlán. That's okay. Where do you work? No. I work in a, a Centro Escolar, Liga Panamericana. Mm, okay. What's your profession? I am a teacher. You're a teacher, okay. Yeah. What's, what do you do in your free time? Mm, I like I go to the beach. Um, I like visit to my sister and my my brother. Um, and I like uh, go to the lake. To the lake. Okay. What the Peque Lake party? What the, the Peque Lake? Yes. And, okay. What the Peque Lake? <laughs> in in the lake, the the life is better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's, what's, your favorite, please? what's your favorite restaurant? Um, I don't have um, favorite restaurant, but I like the seafood. Seafood. Mm -hmm. All yes. right. you, you understand me. <laughs> what's, what's, yes. your, what's your favorite kind of music? Mm, my favorite music the, is uh, romantic music. And bachata and, and salsa. Mm. I like I like bachata and salsa too, but the okay. romantic maybe so so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, do you like salads? salads? Yes, I like salads a lot. Of, yeah. Okay. Um, it was my dinner today. <laughs> Mm, what, what yummy, yummy, Caesar yeah. salad. <laughs> yes. What What are you doing right now? Um, I, I practice, <laughs> practice, practice English. <laughs> and do you have any children? No, I don't. Okay. How? Uh, <laughs> Where where are you from? Uh, how old is your mother? Uh, my mother has uh, seven, 76 years years old. Okay. Uh, when when is your birthday? My birthday must be my birthday. Is seven October seven. October seven. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It it was <laughs> the last Friday. <laughs> Happy <laughs> birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> everybody, Happy everybody, everybody. Happy birthday. birthday. We want Happy birthday, dear Erica. Happy <laughs> birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's your favorite food? Uh, my favorite food is seafood. Um, Green. Green. <laughs> okay, and what's your favorite book? Um, my favorite book is Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Okay. You you read a lot. <laughs> <laughs> because sometimes those are seven seven books or more. Mm, no, 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 no seven, but three, three. Three, but but I like it. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's your the last question? What's your favorite movie? 
and why? <laughs> okay, no, my favorite movie is uh, Mission Impossible. Okay, I I don't. It that's strange, but I I don't no. was or I don't have watched that movie. <laughs> Or maybe okay, I don't you remember. can say you can say I haven't watched that movie. Okay. I haven't. Thank you, teacher. I haven't watched. I yes. haven't watched that movie. Then, yeah. With Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. <laughs> Tom Cruise. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Good job, guys. Let me have. Two more volunteers was Aleli uh -huh. and uh, Aleli and Jonathan. 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 Aleli and Jonathan. Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. Aleli, <laughs> Jonathan. Um. He is going. Where is he? Oh, no. Me tuvo miedo. Oh, no. Okay, another volunteer. La cara de maestra y se fue mejor. Thank you, Tetzar. Te dio el metro allá atrás de ti. Oh, my God. What's another? La dio complicada. Let me have another volunteer. Another volunteer. Aleli and. And. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Oh my God. No more, no more. Emerson. Oh. <laughs> really? <laughs> Hi, niño. Ah, no, si no vale. <risa> ya lo podemos desde el primer módulo, niño. Así no vale. Yes. Hey, Emerson. What's your name, you Emerson? You are the volunteer. <risa> sí, other, other volunteer. Hasta el, hasta el nombre de pila le puedes ir preguntándole. <risa> okay. Hi, Adeli. How are you today? <laughs> it's a very nice. Very nice. What is your full name? And sushi. Full. 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 Full name. Full name. Your full name. Your full name. Full name. Ya me los paré, hijo. Preguntame otra cosa mejor. Andale, pues. Okay. What is your favorite Kenan's music? Kenan music. I like <laughs> music. Yeah. Bachata, salsa, reggaeton, rock, romance. Tradicional mexicana. Regional mexicano. Everything. Pichota. <laughs> Los Pichota. tigres del norte. Everything. <laughs> Okay, it's very nice you you like us. Okay, what well, you um what are you doing right now? I'm staying in class English. Okay, and me too. Where are you from? I'm from Salvador. No, you uh, Colonia. Oh, ah, where do you live? Oh, neighborhood, yeah. neighborhood. Colonia is okay. neighborhood. Neighborhood. Oh, I so yeah, so yeah. No, in future city. Okay. Por cierto, estoy ubicado en Mariana. Oh, okay. Igual que you, you first name. Yes. Um, where is your birthday? My birthday is 12 November. November 12. Okay. Eh, quiero, hacer, quiero hacer una pregunta así rapidito, ahorita que se me ha venido al cerebro. ¿Alguien aquí yes. está metido en bienes y raíces? ¿Alguien que le gusta eso? A mí me gusta, pero no se ha metido en eso. ¿No? ¿Nadie está en ese negocio? Ok. Es business arriesgado. Ya, ya vamos a hablar, Tiche. Ya vamos a hablar. <risa> <risa> ¡Ay, te dejo picado, verdad, Frank?
Sí, ya veo, ya veo yo. Bueno. Entonces, What is your favorite movie? Um, I like the new video and see you. Uh, excuse me, Erika. No, no, no. No? Oh, no, okay. No. Sorry. Okay. okay. Do, you know, do you know the movie that I see you? Oh, no. Uh, my favorite movie is Top Goon. No, the Lens You, Marvel. Scooby Doo. Uh, no, no, I like it. No, no, no. 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 I don't think so. Mm. Captain America, Iron Man, mm. Avengers. It's a fantasy. Yeah. Scooby Doo, mm -hmm. te gusta decir Halel. <laughs> no, but for nothing. Halele. Okay. okay, you answer me. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite food? A sushi. Sushi. Fish. Yes, sushi. Fish. Yes. Um, Clamar. Traditional. Ah. Uh. Clamar. Camarón. Mm, yes. Uh, langosta. Lumbers. Lobster. Mm. Lobster. Lobster. O yes. sea, no que humilde. Yes. Lobster. <laughs> 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 okay. what is, Podemos what ir a comer you? a Lely. Yo soy yes. igual. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going in New Orleans. Oh, New Orleans. Okay, okay. It's very nice. What's money lovely. the food in Orleans? What? What's money the food in Orleans? The restaurant? Okay. Restaurant. Okay. Uh, okay, excuse me, Emerson. Uh, he asked, ¿a cuánto cuesta un plato en ese restaurante? Oh, $50, $50. $50. Yes. Fifty. My One, third, and fifty. Very expensive. My Excuse kind me, of fifty place. or fifty? No, no, fifty. No, fifty. Five, fifty. zero. Five yes. zero. Fifty dollars. Ten, twenty, yes. thirty, forty. 50. Only one plate. Okay. Easy money. Wow. Easy money. Yes. Wow. Easy money. Easy money. <laughs> <laughs> no, me invitaron. Me invitaron. Ah, ah okay. Pero eh, me encantó. Uh, you have any children? Right. Yes. Uh, two boys. Boys. Yes. Um, uh, when is your birthday? 11 March. Uh, what is your favorite color? Um, blue or um, green. Blue and green? Yes. Okay. Uh, Hi, Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan. <laughs> eh, la última ¿Cuál es, eh, ¿Cuál es su favorite movie? No, es Top Gun ¿Qué? Top Gun Top Gun Yes Top Gun Tom Cruise No favorite young Oh Oh my God Emerson Oh, oh my god. I ben don't like this movie. No, but who no. It's a movie classic. I like it, um, action. A movie the action. Um I like it top gun. Uh, mm -hmm. one and two. Fisher, no hay que más preguntarle si ya la conozco bien. Sí, woo. Okay, thank you, Emerson. That, that's thank okay. You, okay, okay. Nice okay. to meet you. Thank you, Aleli. Thank you, Emerson. Uh, Aleli, seleccione otro alumno. Emerson, seleccione otro alumno. Yo selecciono a Carmen Guadalupe. Um, Carmen Jonathan. Guadalupe. Jonathan, Jonathan. Serpas. Action. Action. Jonathan Serpas, 
Carmen Guadalupe. Action. Okay. Okay. Guadalupe, what's your name? <laughs> ¿Qué tenés allí, Santiago? Te estoy viendo. ¿Qué tenés allí? <laughs> <laughs> Qué divertido. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay, okay. Vamos a ir con Jonathan y Fatima. Fatima se ve que está ahí. Carmen creo que no está. Jonathan asks the questions. Fatima responds to the questions. Okay. <clears throat> Fatima, what's your name? Um, my name is Fatima Esmeralda. How old are you? I am 22 years old. Uh, where do you like? Excuse me? Repeat, please. Uh, he said, where do you live? Where oh. do you live? Where do you live? I live in Sonsonate. Okay. Where do you work? Mm. I work in 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 the house. Where is your profession? My profession is Nursing. Uh, what do you do in your free time? Mm, I like oil. What's your favorite restaurant? Restaurant. Mm. Uh, my favorite restaurant is La Pampa. Okay. What's your favorite kind of music? Mm, I don't think I have a favorite music, but I don't mm. like uh, romantic music. Do you like uh, salad? Yes, I like. Mm, excuse me. Uh, uh do you do you like meat? Repeat, please. No, escuche muy bien. Do you like meat? Carmen? Yes, I like. Um, what are you doing now? No sé si solo soy yo, pero no lo escucho muy bien. Se escucha cortado. Mm -hmm. Se lo he cortado. The internet is no se escucha. Uh, is bad imagination, teacher. Yes. Me too. Teacher. Okay, okay, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, let me go ahead. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and continue 
in the That's following the activity. Media. Can everybody hear me? Can you guys hear me? Yes. All right. Yes, we so do. what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go ahead and move forward to the next activity. Now, for the next activity, I would like for us to look at section number 1.4. Simple past. Please listen to the video. Listen to the video. Are you ready? I said, I said, Hi, everyone. Are you ready? By the end of this class, you'll be able to make positive yes. and negative statements Can you using hear? the bird. Can you hear? Yes, it is. Yes. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Pay attention, please. Ready? Let's go. To be. Additionally, you'll be able to make statements such as, I was born in China. I wasn't born in the United States. Let me get started by quickly explaining this chart. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this chart and we're going to quickly focus on the left side of this chart. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to make positive statements such as I was born in Argentina and how to make negative statements such as I wasn't born in, let's say, Mexico. The first thing that I would like to explain regarding this topic is one basic rule, and that's the verb to be. So let me uh, let me get to that. What I want to do is explain the following concept, and that is that the verb to be will change depending on the pronoun that you use. For instance, whenever you use the pronouns I, he, she, or it, the verb to be that we're going to have to use for positive sentences is was. And whenever we make a negative sentence, then we're going to have to use wasn't. So if we look at our example here at the top, I was born in Argentina. Um, if I use another pronoun, let's say that I use the pronoun he, then I will say he was born in Argentina. If I were to use the pronoun she, then I would say she was born in Argentina. And obviously the same thing whenever we make a positive or negative sentence uh, with the um, other um, pronoun. So if I were to talk about we, then we will say something like, we were born in Argentina, um, you were born in Argentina, they were born in Argentina. Uh, so let me quickly explain, uh, you know, what the structure looks like. So in order to do that, we're going to have a subject plus uh, the verb to be in the past, and then we're going to have some sort of complement. So the example is, um, I was born in Argentina. And then what I want to say is I also want to give a negative statement. So I want to say I wasn't born in uh, China. This is the uh, first example that I gave you at the beginning. Um, and what I want to do at this time, I just want to quickly color that. I'm going to color the subject in red. And I would like to color uh, the verb in green. And then the complement, I'm just going to go ahead and color that in a different color. It could be any color. The only thing that I want you to notice is that uh, we have a subject at the beginning that follows the verb to be, and then that follows some sort of complement in order for us to make the positive statements or the negative statements. So I mentioned that um, the subject, we can change that to any subject that we would like. So for example, he, we could say he was born in Argentina. Um, we could say she was born in Argentina. And also, I quickly want you to learn that you may also use names here. So, for example, you may say Peter was born in Argentina, right? Uh, Mary was born in Argentina, and so on and so forth. Uh, and, of course, if we want to make negative statements, then we would say something like this. Uh, he wasn't born in, Ar in China, right? I was born in Argentina. I wasn't born in China. Whenever we change the subject, now we use you. So therefore, we're going to have to use the verb to be where. And in our negative statements, that would be weren't. So uh, you were born in Argentina. And of course, we can say you. And this will be in its negative form. So this will be you weren't born in China. 
so what I would like for you to do now is to tell me in what part of the world were you born? And I want you to give me positive statements and negative statements about yourself. So for instance, let's say that you were born in Brazil. Well, then you will tell me something like, I was born in Brazil. And obviously, because you were born in Brazil, you weren't born in Argentina. So your statement could be, I was born in Brazil. I wasn't born in Argentina. Um, and I know there are students from different parts of the world. So maybe your statement could be, I was born in China. I wasn't born in Japan. And perhaps your parents were born in France. So my parents were born in France. And I want you to make a negative statement with that. So they weren't born in, let's say, Spain. Um, did everybody understand or do you want me to play the video one more time? Entendieron o repito el video? I understand. Okay. I understand. You understand. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So for the next activity, what we are going to do is look at the following exercise, which is going to be coming from section 1.5. I want everybody to go to section 1.5 and you are going to do the following exercise. We're going to work in pairs. You will have five minutes five minutes. If you have any questions, please raise your hand so that I can help you. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Ready. I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, let's do it. One more time. El que se sabe la canción One. que cante conmigo. One more One time. One more time. One more time. Oh, Santiago, okay. Ooh. Elvis, I see you. All right, all right. Y el coro. <laughs> One more time. Ah, Aleli, yeah. All right, okay. Let's go, let's go. Five minutes. Uh, Jaime uh, Jasmine, what happened? Jaime Jasmine. Jaime, usted está con Cecilia y Jasmine está con Elvis. ¿Qué pasó? Okay, ya entró Jasmine. Okay, ya entraron. Okay, good, good, good. Yes. Okay. And the number one, one say which is the correct use. And the correct answer is for me, he was born in Spain. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you prefer read number two? Okay. <clears throat> Number two is you should say my parents. Okay, what is the correct answer? Mm, we're in France. We're in France. French. Uh -huh. French. We're in France. Oh, in French. 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 Maybe French. I don't know. As the teacher. <laughs> Okay, number three, what is a grammatically correct answer to, to this question? Where were you born? For me, the correct 
answer is I was born in Mexico. I wasn't born in Peru. Okay, okay. you tour read the number four, please. Okay, the number four. My wife and I in Mexico. In the I? Uh, my wife and I were in Mexico. Okay. It's correct. Okay. Okay. And number five, the English quiz was a little difficult. Okay. Or okay. finish. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. You can <laughs> screen. Okay, take a screen, take a picture. Uh, picture. Okay. okay, number one and two. You okay. can picture. Okay, Erika. Thank you very much. Okay. okay, number three, four, and five. Ready? Yes. Finish, okay. Finish. Finish, finish. Okay, finish. you understand this part, yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, finish. Okay. Okay. Mm. Suleima, ahí está todavía. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Y vamos Finish. a resolver algo más. No, solamente. No, only that exercise. Oh, okay. I think. Okay. Thank you. Okay. A ver, o oh, vamos a pasar a otro quizás, no sé. No sé. Pasamos a otro. <risa> De verdad, no sé. No, ¿verdad? No. No. Uh -huh. That's it. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Y ahorita nos quedamos aquí. <ríe> Hello. sola <laughs> no i finished me <laughs> Too. sorry about that sorry about that is everybody finished yes yes okay okay, okay. Is, is your picture is for you huh? is the picture is you yes yes ah oh, it's very young uh, that was like 10 years ago now i have Ooh. white I have white hair. Oh, long time ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you see right here. Ah, le preguntaron por la foto. Yes. Ay, Dios, hasta ahorita vas cayendo, hijo. Yeah. Vengo entrando. Yeah, I got white Ay. hair now, as you Richard, can see. Richard, ahora he oído de la publicidad falsa. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Marketing. Hey, Emerson, Emerson's a bad boy. <laughs> Emerson and... Um, bueno, Santi, no, no, I see. Santi, César, oh, Santi, César, uh, it's in the same yeah. club. They're all bad. Okay, I see, I see. What you gonna do when it comes for okay. you? Bad boys, I'm, bad boys. Uh, all right. Good boy, right. bad good, boys. Good job. Hey, Santi, 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 one more time. Santi. Uh, one more time. Santi. Yes. Uh, okay, one more time. One um, more time. Okay, que la sabe, que la canta. Ahí está, ahí está. One okay. more time. One uh, more time, <laughs> business. You guys are crazy. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. 
we're going to i like uh, phil collins you love phil collins i love phil collins that's my music right there yes it's very heart, nice heart, heart. that's love right there uh. <laughs> oh no stop it stop it stop it okay all right focus focus guys come back come back <laughs> all right we're gonna check we're gonna check uh-huh let me have aleli number one please aleli number one um um correct is one uh, he was born in spain no 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 read the question and the answer okay which is the correct you say uh he was born in spain excellent excellent santiago number two ah santiago you're on santiago. silent all right number two you should say my parents the answer is we're in france were in France. All right, good, good. Cesar, number three. What is grammatical? Correct answer to, the, to this question. Where were you born? Correct is, uh, I was born in Mexico. I was mm -hmm. born in Peru. Excellent, very good. Silvia, number four. My wife. My wife and I were in Mexico. Good, good. Erica, number five. Okay, the English quiz was a little difficult. Perfect. Does anybody have any questions about this vocabulary? Questions about the grammar, the pronunciation? Questions? The pronunciation grammatical, grammatically. Uh, repeat, please. Grammatically. Grammara, gramma, grammatically. 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 All right. Another question. I have one question, teacher. No question. Yes. Uh, the the form of the verb in the past sentence that doesn't change any any time. For, ex uh, mm -hmm. for example, uh, when I say I was sleeping, or or in or in another case, the verb never change when we when we speak on past sentence the, i was the sleeping or... yes you can say i was sleeping yep. or i slept or slept. i wanted to sleep or i have been sleeping Oh, I, have I am going to sleep. Then uh, the verb can change in some cases. Of course. If I say uh, I was sleeping, is estaba dormido. Yes. I slept, dormí. I wanted to sleep, quería dormir. I have been sleeping, he estado durmiendo. I am going to sleep. Me voy a dormir. Thank you, teacher. Just, just one more uh, question, be, because I, I maybe, I maybe don't, don't think good my, my question. Uh huh. Be, I, I wonder if the verb change to the past form in, in some case or not. <clears throat> Um, the verb changed to the past tense. To the past tense. It, well, in, in some case. La pregunta en español. I don't understand the question. Por ejemplo, si digo, oh, my God. Yo, yo, yo viví, 
-huh. eh, yo viví, digamos, en Occidente. Ah, okay. Entonces, en español, uh -huh. el viví está, vivir está en pasado. Pero en inglés yo me fijo que, que no cambia, o sea, está como en infinitivo. No, no, no. Ahí sí va a cambiar. Ok. Si yo te digo, yo viví en Oriente. I say, I say, I lived, I lived, I lived in uh, West. Solo en el verbo to be es que no cambia el verbo. Sí cambia. O sea, no, si o sea, te... el verbo después del to be. Por ejemplo. Pero bueno, estuve. I was born uh -huh. in El Salvador. Born es, es infinitivo. No, 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 no. Born es un adjetivo. Uh, uh -huh. I was born. Ajá, si yo te qué? digo, I was born. En español se escucha como un verbo. Yo nací. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. De nacer es sí. un verbo. No, en inglés, I was born. Born quiere decir, es, no, un, verbo. es un adjetivo. Por ejemplo, te digo, yo estaba contento. I ah. was happy. Yo tenía okay. hambre. I was hungry. I was. Ajá. Uh -huh. so, no change. So, so, estamos viendo sujeto. I was, el verbo to be. Y el adjetivo. Que sería okay. happy, born. I, I, I understand it now because uh -huh. I, I, I took, uh -huh. ¿cómo sería? Yo pensé. I thought. 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 I thought. I thought, uh -huh. I thought the born was verb, was a verb. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That's normal. That's normal. <laughs> That's a, that's okay. a normal situation. Yeah. A lot of people think that born is a verb, but in English, it's considered an adjective. adjective. It's like, for example, I was happy. I was born. born. I was excited. I was hungry. I was uh, sleepy. I was tired. Uh-huh. It's like an adjective. But when the, when the verb is is next to the verb to be another verb is next to the verb to be that uh, finish in ing that I is suppose. correct that is correct okay thank I you i was teacher. studying i was listening i was speaking i was yeah. working That, that, that were my questions. Those okay. were my questions. Well, Thank you. you got the best teacher in Central America. So you <laughs> ask me all the questions and I, I will help you. I was talking that uh, with my classmate. <laughs> no, that's good. That's good. Hey, guys, please, when you have a question, ask me. You know, I have been an English teacher for 16 I mean, years. I mean that that I was talking. Tengo with my más classmate. canas <laughs> from teaching English. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, good, good, good question, Jaime. Another question, Brian. Veo que tiene la mano levantada, Brian. Sí, teacher. Este, fíjese que eh, yo conozco un tiempo verbal, pero no sé cómo se llama. Mm -hmm. Este. O no sé si es un tiempo verbal, pero yo sé que los, los participios, los, el, el, el pasado participio se utiliza con un ja, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero en ciertas ocasiones es utilizado con, con el verbo to be, en, así, en, ya sea pasado, presente, futuro. Ajá. Este, ¿Cómo se le llamaría ese tipo de, de, de ecuación combinando el verbo to be con uh -huh. un pasado participio? Ah, ok, ok. Eso se le llama el presente perfecto. Por ejemplo, yo te digo, yo he estado en Texas. I, I have been. Excellent, no, teacher, Erica. Teacher, teacher, I have conozco, been. Uh -huh. teacher, yo ya, ya sé eso. Uh -huh. este, yo me refiero este, cuando uno utiliza el verbo to be 
en, digamos, por ejemplo, este, cuando uno dice, eh, yo, digamos, este, I was, este, I was work. O, ¿cómo se llama este? Uno dice, quiero ver, I was gone, o uno dice, por ejemplo, uno utiliza el, el verbo to be simple, pero utiliza después el pasado participio. Ajá. O digo, ah, uno, o digo, uno, uti... es que, es que no se puede usar el past participle si no utilizas el auxiliar have. En ciertas ocasiones yo he visto, por ejemplo, este, eh, que utilizan, por ejemplo, eh, así como digamos, ahorita está el verbo to be, va, I was, uh -huh. este, dicen, o por ejemplo, eh, como en voz pasiva, lo usan uh -huh. en voz pasiva, cuando dicen, este, the movie, eh, the movie was watched. Oh, 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 sí, ok, 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 ya agarré, ya agarré. Yes, yes. Si estamos, ten, hay dos voces. Está la voz activa y está la voz pasiva. Ajá, correcto. La voz activa, sí, se tiene que usar el auxiliary have. En la voz pasiva, no. Por ejemplo, yo te digo, por ejemplo, ahorita, ¿qué está pasando en el mundo? Una guerra ha sido iniciada. A war has been started. ¿Quién la empezó? Nadie sabe, porque es NATO, puede ser cualquier país, pero todo el mundo sabe que es de United States. Pero como es NATO, no sabemos si es NATO, Spain, France, Portugal, Germany, Japan, Greece. We don't know, right? Porque es NATO, right? So, el passive es cuando no sabes quién hizo la acción. O por ejemplo, por ejemplo, cuando yo quiero decir, vaya, en español, yo digo, yo fui visto. Y ok, diría, ok, I vaya. was seen. I was seen. Vaya, no, no sabes quién te vio. Pero hagamos una mejor. Cuando tú dices, ya pagaron. ¿Ese es un passive? Ya pagaron. We got paid. ¿Quién pagó? No sé, ni me importa. Pero lo que sí sé es que ya pagaron. I got paid. Ese es un pasivo. Right? No sabemos vaya. el sujeto, quién lo hizo. ¿Verdad que entonces esa sería voz pasiva, verdad? That is correct. Vaya, ahora este, también hay otra cuestión. Cuando uno utiliza el if, el, el if condicionado. Este, uh -huh. Cuando uno dice, if I were you, if I were you. Ah, ok, o vaya. if he were me. Uh -huh. Ajá, if I were you, if he were me. Ajá, uh -huh. ajá. Uh -huh. Vaya, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre el if I were you? Y el if he were me. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? ¿Quién me puede decir la diferencia? Se expresa como una condición. Las dos son condiciones. Si yo te digo, if I were you, te estoy diciendo, por ejemplo, yo te doy un consejo. Si yo fuera tú, estudiara bienes y raíces. If I were you, Coma, I would study real estate. Ok, y tú me dices, ah, pero si tú fueras yo, estudiarías contabilidad. Ok, if you were me, right, porque como no he estudiado contabilidad, me falta estudiar contabilidad. If you were me, I would study accounting, ¿ok? A lo que yo quiero referirme, teacher, es que si yo utilizo el if, tratando la manera de expresar una condición, no importa qué pronombre sea, se puede usar where. Oh, yes, of course. Puedes usar uh -huh. I, you, he, she. It, yes, y no cambia. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Porque esta es la excepción. La excepción es si estás utilizando el preposition if in a conditional situation, then you will always use were. ¿Qué pasaría si utilizaras el was? 
If I was you, ¿qué pasaría? La gente te diciera, oh, él es de Texas, es del campo. Sí, sí, sí correcto. <laughs> Igual sí. que yo, yo fui criado en Houston, Texas. I was. <laughs> yo sé yo que estos son, yo... son temas que no estamos viendo todavía, pero este, quería preguntarle de que, por ejemplo, vaya, el if siempre se tiene que utilizar con la siguiente oración usando would, ¿verdad? Correct, would. Would. Bueno, puedes usar would, could, should, may, Todo lo que might, sea dependiendo qué quieres expresar, pero son modals que sí se pueden usar. Uh, gracias, teacher. Esas eran las preguntas. All right. Ya ven, chicos. Eso es lo que a mí me gusta. Ask me question. questions. That's I right. The same question too. <laughs> okay. You see, that's what I like. That's what I like. ¿Por qué? Porque ahí estamos usando brain muscles. Brain muscles. Okay. All right, guys. Time's up. Time's up. See you Time's tomorrow. Up. Good night. Yeah. Do your Good homework. Night, Good night, 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 night. Night. You too. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Good night.